Guest VIP Hotline is sponsored by Stonewood Dental. We are all in this together. All right. Tomorrow night, we honor 20 student athletes with the 11th annual Academic All-Stars Banquet at the Baylor Club. And our guest speaker is Stephen Mackey, who was going to be our guest speaker, uh, keynote speaker last year. But then, of course, COVID. And so we sent a virtual video to those who made it. He'll be live with us tomorrow at the Baylor Club. And I've told this story. I'll say it again. About three years ago, I was looking for a speaker. And I sent an email to all the high school coaches, about 250 of them, that I could just like, just like that, they get it. And Stephen Mackey's name was the one that I heard about and about the most. And Stephen Mackey joins us. Uh, Stephen Mackey, MackeySpeaks.com on Sikkim 365 Radio. How you been? Hey, brother. Glad to be here with you, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Paul Catalina, Craig, and David Smoke, Sikkim 365 Radio. So what is it? What, what did you do that has now put you on the radar with the high school coaches? Is it what you do to talk to athletes or talk to coaches or both about being future leaders? Man, every day, day we got to wake up and we ask one question. What can we do today to help athletes and coaches reach their goals and dreams tomorrow? It's the one simple question I ask every day. And it's amazing what happens when you focus on one thing with all that you have every day and on january 12 2017 that was that was the question that i believe the lord gave me I mean, what, do, what do you got to do to help athletes and coaches and we've just been going after that every day and so we've helped them by making some curriculum we come and we speak and i was down at katie tompkins yesterday down at brazos wallet north of uh, west of uh, houston but down there because they asked us hey we need a speaker so i came with a speaker when COVID hit, just like we did for the banquet last year, they said, hey, we need some Zoom calls. It's 60 Zoom calls in 10 weeks because that's what coaches needed. It's a matter of going and serving people. It's amazing, man. When you do right by people, good things happen to you. And, and we've been serving, and, and coaches have been honoring us for that. And it's, it's been a great privilege. How often do you do you have to morph the message based on who you're talking to? I know the message is usually pretty similar. Most people go through the same kind of things, but how often do you morph your message based on who you might be talking to? Yeah, I keep the ethos the same, right? The the, the personal code, who I am is more important than what I do. Uh, the servant leadership, the toughness, tough people win, that grit, setting big goals worthy of the talent and the, the, the platform that you've been given. I keep that ethos the same. But I'm going to be honest with you, every message is different. I couldn't give the same message twice if you paid me a million bucks. Couldn't do it. And so one of the things we'll do is, is I'll ask coaches before we go and speak. And I'll say, hey, you tell me, what would be most beneficial for your kids today? How can I help further what you're already reinforcing, what you're already teaching? I could be the best speaker in the world. I, just like just like anything, you take a great shower, come tomorrow, you got to take another one. I could be the best speaker today, but you know what? Life's going to happen. And so the message will fade. And so I want to reinforce what coaches are doing. So it changes with every speech that I give, even though I keep the ethos the same. You know, we uh, we had Mark Vidal on a couple of weeks ago, Baylor National Championship, fifth-year senior. And he was the first one in his family to receive a degree. He got it at Baylor, what, a couple of weekends ago. Were you a first-generation college graduate yourself? I know you went to A&M. Uh, and That's what, correct. What did that mean, and what drove you to do that? Man, I appreciate you asking. Yes, I am a first-generation college graduate, first to get that bachelor's, first to get a master's. And now, over COVID, I started working on my doctorate, so I'll be the first to do that as well. It's very meaningful uh, to me to, to be able to – uh, set a new tempo, a new direction uh, for my family. But I'll tell you what drove drove it was it was my my, my grandparents. They chose to raise me. Um, they chose to invest in me and raise me as their own. And they didn't have to. Born to a teenage mother, mom, 15, 16 years old, uh, white father, older black man. And they didn't have to do that. Uh, and they chose to invest in me when there was no clear return on investment. And every step in my life, there's been teachers, there's been coaches, counselors who have invested in me uh, when they didn't have to. Uh, and there was a sense of, I need to pay that back, but I also need to pay it forward. Uh, but I, I need to recognize that, right, with those who have been given much, uh, much is required. And so, uh, so that drives the work that we're doing with athletes. Coaches impacted my life um, as much as anyone. And so I want to help coaches 
help impact their kids the way I want. I want to pay back and I want to pay it forward. You, you, you talk, I've, I've said this before about some people, but I hear the way you talk about coaches. There are people, uh, a lot, especially in our profession, the title coach is almost like doctor, isn't it? If you're going to take it's, on that, especially at the, at the youth level. Absolutely, because there's a sense that it, it doesn't matter why coach – but coach said it, and, and so that's good enough, right? There, there's, there's a weight, and, and for me, there's a reverence uh, to, that, to that title. Uh, that coaches spend more time with someone else's kid than they do with their own. You know, they, they are uh, – they wear so many different hats. They're not just doing the X's and O's. Anybody who thinks that coaches just coach plays has no idea what they're talking about. Coaches are putting on a counseling hat. They're putting on a relationship, you, you know, uh, uh, mender hat, right? Yeah, I know these, guys, these kids are young, but puppy love still feels like love to a puppy. <laughs> you know, offensive lineman gets his first girlfriend and she breaks up with him the next week. That's going to be a big deal to him. You know, so he's dealing with relationships. He, sometimes their father figures. Sometimes they're mother figures. Sometimes they're teaching them how to be husbands or wives. They're teaching them how to set goals. They're teaching them how to study, how to believe in themselves and set goals bigger than anyone else in their family has ever reached. They do so, so much more. Oh, and on top of that, in the state of Texas, they got to teach in the classroom. (laughs) And so they do so much. Um, I, I don't know that there's a more important profession in all of all of our country than than that of coaches. And so, yes, it's, it, it, coaches hold a very special place in my heart, and I want to honor them in the way that I work, the way I talk about. It. Mackey speaks again. Is the the website Stephen Mackey, uh, professional speaker, motivator, uh, and, and and has been now. He's kind of a rock star uh, when it comes to it. Uh, he won't admit that, but a rock star when it comes to to having a chance to get in front of coaches and, and athletes and much, much more. Two words, character development. Explain what that is. Yes, sir. That is uh, that is the main way that we serve coaches uh, day in and day out. It's a, a weekly character development curriculum, which I'm able to share the character trait of the week defined and described by two words every week virtually. That is a 10 minute video and it's one part teaching. It's one part challenging, probing question. And it's another part Friday night, get fired up before you step out onto the field or onto the court ready to go. We do it in two words because we want there to be a mnemonic or a suitcase is what we call it. That they can put all that they're learning and talking about in that suitcase of those two words. We were to talk about sacrifice and say sacrifice required. They think about the sacrifice in the weight room or sacrificing, hanging out with friends to study or making the right choices, having integrity on the weekend instead of hanging out with stupid people and doing stupid things, being all in and sacrificing for their teammates. They think about all of that. They can put it in that suitcase, sacrifice required. A coach can call it out in the hallway as they're heading into chemistry, sacrifice required, the same as it is in the weight room. And so we create lessons every year uh, for athletes from – sixth grade to 12th grade, uh, man, you'll love this. Uh, we had coaches ask us, said, man, this is awesome, but what about our elementary school kids? And so over COVID, we spent time writing an elementary school curriculum that's going to launch this fall. Um, and, and so we'll be coaching up third through fifth grade PE uh, athletes and PE students and helping them connect the dots between sports and life and helping them see that there's so much more to athletics than just X's and O's and points on the board. But it's through athletics that you learn the long shelf life skill sets that'll help you be successful long after you quit playing sports. Steven, you avoided being a statistic. Uh, sometimes that doesn't work. How many people now have watched what you've done, how successful you become, and you obviously have many more goals to do. How much has that rubbed off on others you knew when you were younger? You know what, man, it's, it's, it's really fun to, to get to hang out with, with my friends that I grew up. I think about my buddy Jacob. You know, we met riding bikes around Bonham Park, chasing down the ice cream man. He lived on one side of the park. I lived on another. And we intersected and said, hey, have you seen the ice cream man? And we said, no, but we've been friends ever since. And uh, we, were, we, were some, we were aligned. Let's, be, let's put it that way. And, and you know, but to, to see, you know, the impact that I've been able to have and the influence to have on people who are my friends, I would say have influenced me. It's, it's very humbling. Uh, and and it's, it's also humbling to know that uh, that even, 
even with all the fun, not everybody makes the right choices. That there's a sense of, I can be grateful and humble uh, about all that has been given to me and invested in me, but I can also be proud of the choices and the, uh, that I've made and the work ethic uh, that that I live by and the, the ethos that I live by, and, and know and, and that drives me because I know that none of us are are further than one dumb decision from the worst day of our lives, the stupidest thing we've ever done, and so that that drives me to keep going to go. Uh, you know, no one is exempt from stupid, and so we got to we got to keep foot to pedal. You know, not just for myself, but for others. Who learned to turn their cap around backwards first, Tony Romo or Stephen <laughs> Mackey? <laughs> well, you know what I think. I think the way it's going to play out is you got to say it's Tony yeah. uh, because because he's because he's the man. Uh, although I, I will say I, I've been rocking the backwards cap for, for quite a while. <laughs> Stephen, look forward to tomorrow night with you. Thank you so much for being a part of the show again. It's yeah. at Mackey Speaks. Oh, go ahead. Anything else? Oh man, I just want to say thank you and thank you for all that you're doing for for student athletes, for staying faithful, to, to support and honor these kids. It's going to be great to celebrate them and their families and their hard work after a year like this to get to celebrate them tomorrow night. It's going to be a truly special thing. So thanks for who you are. Thank you. That's Stephen Mackey at Mackey, uh, www.mackeyspeaks.com. He's got all of his bio, how you can contact him. If you're looking for somebody to get the focus or to get the attention of a group, whether it's for 30 people or for 300 or more. Stephen Mackey's talked to colleges all over the country, high schools, of course, he's all over the state of Texas, and tomorrow night at the Academic All-Stars Banquet. When we come back, speaking of high school, Jeff Hume at Midway coming off what was a really difficult 2020 year. They missed the playoffs for the first time in, what, 15 or